Hello. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to terminate the MPO connector on the KR7 ribbon fusion splicer. First, turn on your splicer. Wait for your ready screen to come up. And be sure that you are utilizing the right settings for the termination you are performing. In this case, we will be doing a single mode MPO. So to change your settings, go into menu, press splice and either toggle or press your setting. Select escape. Press heat MPO connector, select, escape, escape, back to your ready screen. Now your settings are proper for the termination you are performing. Open up your connector. In this video, we will be terminating to flat ribbon cable. So take your rear boot for the flat cable, install onto your ribbon fiber. Take your front boot, remove your spring, and then your heat shrink. First, installing your spring. Then your heat shrink. At this point, you can install it into your left side holder, leaving a one inch tail. And then place in your manual thermal stripper. Close both doors, waiting for your ready light to turn green. Then firmly squeeze both sides of the stripper and pull apart. Opening your left door and removing your holder, taking your cleaning wipe, and cleaning your fiber. Good. Gently fan your fiber. Opening your cleaver door until it engages. Open your trash bin door, placing your holder in. Close your trash door. Close your cleaver door and depress your button. Open again until it fully engages. Remove your holder, place in your splicer. Making sure that all fibers are seated properly. Then taking your MPO 10 splice on connector holder Opening your door, take your splice on connector, being careful that you have exposed fiber. Place into your holder, close your door. If your door does not easily close, your connector is seated wrong. Take out and make sure it's positioned correctly. Then, into the splicer. Close your wind cover. And allow the machine to do the initial alignment. It will then show you your gaps and offsets 
Everything looks good. At this point, you can press either the lightning button or the set button to start the arcing. Once complete, open your wind cover, allowing the tensile test to be performed. Once it comes back to your ready screen, bring your heat shrink boot up to the back of your holder, opening left side first, releasing the pressure, then open your connector side gently Pull up and drop down, allowing the heat shrink to come down to the bottom. Opening your oven, placing your connector inside. Close your door, turn your heater on. Once your light goes out, this process is finished. Open your oven, remove your connector, and place in your cooling tray. Close your oven door. Allow your connector to cool for a minimum of 10 seconds. Once complete, remove your holder, bring your spring and your back boot up to your connector making sure that your spring is fully within the four posts of the back boot. With your thumb and index finger, pinch the back of your connector, remove your dust cap, and push together until it snaps. This completes this video. Thank you.